Hello everyone, this is Nicholas. A few weeks ago, Dell introduced the Alienware M15 R6 and made us itching for almost a month. Well, 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 as of today, June 5th, 2021, the wait is finally over. Now you can order the Alienware M15 R6 from Dell's official website. If you are like me, who is seriously considering purchasing this laptop, here's everything that you need to know. As always, we'll start by talking about everything under the hook, such as the CPU and the GPU. And then we'll talk about the display options, followed by the thermal management system. After that, we'll go through the input and output port, as well as the keyboard. And then we'll cover a few miscellaneous items, such as the size and the weight. At the end, we'll wrap it up with the pricing of the laptop. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the CPU. The Alienware M15 R6 features Intel's latest 11th gen H series processor, codenamed Tiger Lake H. This is basically Intel's top end CPU as of today. And this is the first Alienware gaming laptop that features this CPU. You have three options to choose from the i5, the i7, and the i9, depending on your performance need. All of them are 8 cores and 16 threads, so they are ready to take your gaming experience to the new height. Regarding the graphics card, you have even more options. You can choose from 4 of the NVIDIA GeForce GPUs. The RTX 3050, the RTX 3060, the RTX 3070, and the RTX 3080. Repeat after me 10 times. Basically what that means is that you can fully customize your Alienware gaming laptop, all the way from mediocre performance to top-notch performance. For the RAM, you have three options to choose from. 8GB, 16GB, and 32GB. All of them are DDR4 3200MHz. Good news is, they are not soldered to the motherboard, so you can swap them anytime you like, using the two available sodium slots. Big shout out to Dell Latin Gamers upgrade their memory post purchase. For internal storage, it features M.2 dual channels. So you can choose from the lower end 256GB all the way to 2TB of non-volatile memory solid state drive. This should be more than adequate for the majority of the gamers. Next, let's talk about the display. Just like the previous Alienware M15 generations, the display is 15.6 inches. For the new M15 R6, you have three display options to choose from. Two of them are Full HD at 1080p, and one of them is Quad HD at 1440p. The first Full HD option, apparently the cheapest one, has 165Hz refresh rate and 3 millisecond response time. For better gaming experience, you may want to upgrade it to the second Full HD option, which has 360Hz refresh rate and 1 millisecond response time. Both Full HD 1080p display options give you 300 nits at peak brightness and 100% RGB color gamut. However, only the 360Hz option gives you the G-Sync. The third display option is the Quad HD at 1440p. It has 144Hz refresh rate and 2 millisecond response time. It gives you 400 nits at peak brightness, which is 100 nits more than the full HD version. For the color gamut, it goes with DCI-P3 instead of sRGB. The color gamut difference is usually not a concern to the gamers, but more a personal preference to the creative professionals such as artists. The Quad HD display also features G-Sync. Considering that most of the AAA titles can barely hit 150Hz refresh rate, the Quad HD display looks like a better option among the three of them. Which one do you like more? Please let me know in the comment section below. Next, let's talk about the thermal management system, which is how the Alienware M15 R6 dissipates its heat to prevent its internal components from being overcooked. 
Dell names this thermal management system the Alienware Cryotech cooling technology, which has four unique cooling features, so let's go through them one by one. First of all, the M15R6 has a dual fan design, with 38 blades for each fan for a total of 76 blades in 56mm diameter. These two fans pull in cool air from the top and bottom vents and push the hot exhaust air out from the left, right and back vents for optimal cooling for the core components. The second thermal management feature is the load balancing heat pipes. The heat from the critical components like the GPU and the CPU are discharged across four copper composite heat pipes of up to 3 mm in diameter. If you recall from your high school chemistry class, copper is a really really good heat conductor. The M15R6 has almost 320 grams of copper alloy material that provides excellent heat dissipation for your Alienware gaming machine. The third thermal management feature is the high voltage driving fans. Each blade of the fan is only 0.4 mm thick. These blades are made of liquid crystal polymer and they are fire resistant. They also include sleeve bearings and three phase fan control to create less friction and circulate air more efficiently. Last but not least, if you are a power user and if you want to control your system temperature directly, now you can manage your CPU's maximum temperature limit by modifying a setting in your BIOS called TCC offset. Also, you can adjust the power settings across one of the five unique fan profiles in the Alienware command center software according to whether performance or battery life is more important to you with various options in between. In other words, now you have more control for the thermal management system of your gaming machine with the Alienware M15R6. Next, let's talk about the ports. On the left hand side of the laptop, you have the standard 3.5mm headphone and mic combo jack. Next to it is the Ethernet port for your wired internet connection. It is the Killer E2600 model that is capable of handling 2.5 gigabits per second of traffic. On the right hand side of the laptop, you have two USB Type-A 3.2 ports. Considering that most gaming accessories are still using USB Type-A cables, it does make a lot of sense to provide two USB Type-A ports on the right hand side. At the back, beside the inlet for the standard power charging cable, you have three more ports. You have the USB Type-C port that also has charging capability. You also have another USB Type-A port in addition to the other two on the right hand side of the laptop. Last but not least, you have the HDMI 2.1 port that supports 4K display up to 60Hz. Next, let's talk about the keyboards. The standard keyboard features 1.7mm travel with standard 4-zone RGB N key rollover and anti-ghosting technology. This is a standard Alienware M-series keyboard that we are all familiar with. Beside the standard keyboard, now you have the option to upgrade to a mechanical keyboard. This option gives you Alienware's exclusive ultra-low-profile truly mechanical laptop keyboard, which is exceptionally tactile and audible, making the gaming experience much more enjoyable. This optional keyboard includes German-engineered stainless steel switches constructed with a gold-plated electrical contact enclosure which ensure that all keys on the keyboard feel exactly the same. You don't have to worry about key failure because it can take up to 50 million keystrokes in its lifetime. This mechanical keyboard also gives you an anti-wobble feel with an increased total key travel of 1.8 mm. So if budget is not your concern, this is definitely something worth upgrading. Next, 
Let's cover a few more miscellaneous items before we wrap this up. First, let's talk about the wireless connection. The Alienware M15R6 comes with the Killer Wi-Fi 6 wireless and Bluetooth chip. Wi-Fi 6, which is also known as AO2.11AX, is the latest evolution of Wi-Fi standards. The Killer Wi-Fi 6 chip is capable of handling up to 2.4 gigabytes per second of traffic. Since the wireless and also the Ethernet port are both provided by Killer, you can use the Killer Double Shot Pro, which allows you to use both the Killer wireless and the Killer Ethernet interfaces at the same time. That means you can max out your internet throughput as high as 4.9 gigabytes per second. So how big and how heavy is it? I heard you asked. Well, for the height, it's 12 millimeters at the front, 19.25 millimeters at the back, and 22.85 millimeters at the peak. So if you compare this to the new Alienware X series, it is almost 7 millimeters thicker. That is equivalent to more than 40% thicker. And for the width, it is 356.2 millimeters. And finally, for the depth, it's 272.5 millimeters. For the weight, it really depends on your configurations. It starts from 2.42 kilograms or 5.34 pounds to the maximum of 2.69 kilograms or 5.93 pounds. In terms of color, you only have one option, the dark side of the moon. It appears that Dell is trying to differentiate the Alienware M series and the Alienware X series not only with weight but also with color. As of today, the lighter Alienware X series only come with the lunar light color, while the Alienware M series R6 only comes with the dark side of the moon color. Whether that's gonna change in the future, we don't know, but as of now, we are stuck with only one choice. For the battery, it's an integrated 86 watt hours, 6 cell lithium ion battery. This should give you about 5 hours of non stop intensive game time with a full charge. For most gamers, this baby will glue to the top of your desktop and plug to the wall anyway. So, battery life is really not their main concern. For those who care more about portability, I think they will tend to choose the new Alienware X series instead. Inside the box, you will also find a 240W power adapter, which should charge up your M15 R6 pretty fast. So how much is it? I also heard you ask. Well, it starts at $1,299. This price range is very attractive even to non-gamers, not to mention that you are actually getting a famous Alienware M series. It is available to purchase with limited configurations on Dell's official website as of today. I have a link in the description below if you are interested. So there you have it. What do you think? Are you interested in getting one? Or are you prefer the new Alienware X series? To be honest with you, I'm still on the fence about which one I should pick. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. For those who are first time here and enjoy this type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are getting any value from this video, even just a tiny little bit, I would greatly appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up below. This can help the YouTube algorithm to push this video to more Alienware fans like you and me. Ok guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and thank you so much for your support as always. Please stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.